Sunbelt Conference announced earlier today that the remaining games left in the Sunbelt Conference men and women's basketball tournament are canceled. Just hours But again, later, this is a very fluid situation, so it's very possible that we may have different news come next week. There's very little doubt in my mind that this is a team that could have won a national championship. We saw I how good like we, we were, were every and everything was in our corner. We were ranked number one in RPI, and we just, like, we were on a high, and it just came to a halt so fast. March 13th, 2020 was the day college sports were flipped upside down. 34 days into the softball season, Alyssa Dalton was expecting to celebrate her birthday with teammates and cupcakes. What she didn't expect was her season to be ripped away. Went over to someone's house and just sat there and we're all just kind of like staring at each other like, what do we do now? <laughs> do we just get up and move on or? It was devastating, honestly. An international pandemic was the latest blow this program faced. In the fall of 2017, the team nearly imploded when then head coach Michael Lotif was fired. In 2019, days before the start of the season, assistant coach Jerry Ann Glasgow died in a car crash. 2020 served up another life lesson. As a freshman, it seems like the, the world's ending, you know, but I feel like as my senior year, you know, I could have lost my senior year, but it could have been a lot worse. You know, when you take something away from you, then you, you revisit how much, how important it is to you. And I think our team is really committed and, you know, just, Come back with a real mature uh, approach to the game of softball. Just two weeks after the season was halted, the NCAA extended an extra year to seniors, hey, hey. giving Alyssa Dalton, Summer Ellison, and others a chance to come back. For some, the decision was easy. For others, it meant putting life on hold. The low point for me was, you know, just trying to decide if I was meant to come back or not. Was it my time to find my place in the world or not, you know? Nearly all of the Cajun seniors chose to come back, including Ellison, a homegrown All-American. They're all playing for one last goal, a championship. I believe with all my heart that I was meant to stay here. I just had to really, really think about it, you know, because I had different things going on. I was getting married, you know. I didn't know whether it was time to start my life with that or finish out and finish strong. A year after championship aspirations were washed away, there are still many reasons to believe in the Cajuns. Maybe it's because they won five games against top 10 teams last year, or have an All-American pitcher and depth for days. But perhaps philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche says it best. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, and no team is more resilient. No doubt all those things combine to make you a little tougher. That's what, you know, being a veteran or being an older player or coach, all those things combine to make you who you are. I feel like the experiences that I've had in those six years have been better than anything else. Um, they've made me who I am. I feel like I'm a much better person because of all those experiences in those six years. I could never have imagined. I thought the hardest thing at the time was what we were going through then. So it's kind of crazy just to look long term and see all the things that we've been through and all the things that we've honestly grown through. Hey!